Hello and welcome to our first Fayette County Virtual Academy Parent Orientation video number one for grades six through 12. What is FCVA? Fayette County Virtual Academy is an innovative option for public education and one that we deem to be appropriate and necessary for Fayette County Public Schools. This option is 100% online and will provide a year-long opportunity for pre-K through 12 students from September until May. Enrolling in FCVA is free of charge. Daily routines and instruction will take place virtually and will allow students to work from home while using a computer or tablet to participate in instruction. At the end of each semester, FCVA students will have the option to attend in person if they so choose. This will cause the student to possibly have a different teacher and maybe a different schedule. Our mission and vision at Fayette County Virtual Academy will be to focus on meeting the unique needs of our diverse students, preparing them for college or career in the 21st century through high quality instruction in our virtual platform. Enrollment for Fayette County Virtual Academy was on July 31st through August 5th. A second enrollment was offered on August 17th through the 21st. Enrollment in FCVA was a separate enrollment and it was not the same as registering your student for Fayette County Public Schools. Every student must be registered with Fayette County Public Schools before enrolling in FCVA. Enrollment was completed through a Google link form at our website www.fcsk12.net. A separate form was needed for each child. Once the enrollment form was completed, a student will be enrolled in FCVA for the first semester. After that, a student will have the option to attend in person or continue to remain in FCVA. Parents and students have already completed a consent form and parent-student compact to commit to each semester of FCVA. At the end of each semester, FCVA students will have the option to attend in person if they choose. Close communication with your child's teacher will help you make this informed decision. If you need to unenroll for any reason at the end of the semester, please contact your teacher or teachers and school chief to help you through this process. Unenrollment can be completed through a Google link form that will be located under the FCVA tab at our Fayette County Public Schools website. The following consent form and the following school parent compact has already been completed. Parent and guardians, as well as our students of FCVA will have expectations. Parents or guardians, if you need a district issue device, please make sure that you've already picked that up at your assigned school. Please monitor district communications for up-to-date information regarding school closures, instructional continuation plans, and digital learning resources. Please ensure that your children know their usernames and passwords for instructional resources. Parents or guardians, please have a working phone number, email address, and a way to access the internet. Maintain communication with your children's teachers and your school counselors. If you got a district issue device, please make sure that the appropriate technology usage and agreement form was signed and submitted to your school. Please notify your child or children's teacher or principal immediately if there are problems with your technology. Parents should understand schooling, scheduling, communication, and expectation for your students. Parents should be able to clearly answer, answer what each day and week will look like for their child. Students in FCVA also have expectations. Please dedicate appropriate time to learning, using the time on task, recommendations, or as guided by your teachers. Please check clever and online platforms such as Canvas, shared by your school or teacher for information on your classes, assignments, and resources daily. Students should submit all assignments by due dates established by your teachers. If a district issued device was needed, Please sign and submit the appropriate technology and usage agreement form to the school as needed. Please notify your teacher or principal immediately if there are problems with your technology. Students should understand clearly their expectations for remote learning. 
Students should have access to working, well-supported devices and the internet. Students will need all learning materials such as textbooks or calculators. Students should have virtually attend student orientation and know and can access all programs with correct usernames and passwords. Fayette County Virtual Academy students will follow the Code of Conduct tiered system described in School Board Policy 6.300. Inappropriate behavior during live Zoom, Zoom sessions will not be tolerated and will result in disciplinary action. FCVA students will follow the procedures and Code of Conduct related to student discrimination, harassment, and bullying, cyberbullying, and intimidation described in School Board Policy 6.304. Additional supplies have been found helpful in virtual learning. However, it is not necessary to purchase these additional supplies. Attendance is a key factor in student achievement, and therefore students are expected to be present virtually each day school is in session. Attendance in FCVA will be measured daily through clever login and work completion. However, logging on to Clever will not be the only determination of attendance daily. Students who do not sufficiently progress through assignments in each course, each day will be deemed absent for that day. Official attendance is recorded by your FCVA teacher and your current homeroom teacher. FCVA students will follow the normal district instructional calendar. Attendance engagement and participation may be found through attending Zoom sessions, attendance assignments, participating in threaded discussions, submitting work, taking an assessment online, uploading a video or assignment, or one-on-one -on -one communication via phone, email, and Canvas. The following school calendar can be found on our Fayette County Public Schools website, and all FCVA students will follow this calendar. What does an instructional day look like? Instruction will consist of recorded lessons and live communication through Zoom. This could include collaborative learning, lectures, discussions, and projects. All students in grades 1 through 12 will follow the six and a half instructional hour day. This does not mean that students are online all six and a half hours in front of a computer. Instructional time will be flexible for our students and families, allowing you to complete those assignments and videos at any time during regular school hours. All live sessions will be recorded to allow students to go back and watch at any other time. Teachers will upload an agenda with suggested student schedules weekly in Canvas to assist families in pacing and planning their student work. Students will have access to digital online learning materials and instructional activities to remain engaged in their 2020-21 school year. All secondary students will access their learning materials through our learning management program, Canvas, in subject areas that will provide all the materials required for sustaining a student's academic preparation in essential learning areas. All direct instruction will be delivered through Canvas, as well as pre-recorded videos made available through Canvas. Students will also get access to digital district textbooks and supplemental materials and a textbook pickup will be designated an additional later time. All secondary students will also receive additional support from another teacher in their school building in their assigned subject area. If your child receives any special services such as an IEP, gifted ELL or 504, they will receive their great content knowledge from their teacher of record and continue to see their remediation or enrichment through their special education teacher currently in their school. Students with disabilities will not receive the optimal learning experience through the virtual classroom due to the need of hands-on activities and intense intervention. However, any student with an IEP or 504 who normally participates in mainstream classes in a traditional school setting will utilize the same learning option that the rest of the district is using. Some of the lessons will be recorded and uploaded in Canvas to allow flexibility in parent scheduling. Any student with an IEP or 504 will continue to receive their services from their special education or gifted teacher at their assigned school. 
Families of Fayette County Virtual Academy should follow the following flowchart if any questions or concerns arise. Any students and parents, please contact your Fayette County Virtual Academy teacher or your liaison at your school if any questions or any needs arise. All Chiefs of Schools will work in conjunction with myself, Amelia Morrison, Chief of Virtual Academy, and we'll also work together with our Fayette County Virtual Academy academic team to solve any problems that arise. All required testing, which could include state or benchmark testing, will be done on a school site in person. The dates and times and social distancing procedures at these school sites will be determined at a later date. It is necessary that students have a laptop, Chromebook, desktop computer, iPad, or any device with a camera and microphone. If you have already received a district-issued device, or you do in the future, it is essential that you stress the importance of taking care of that device. Students will be able to access their classes through Canvas. However, maintaining high-speed internet access throughout the school year is required. Students will continue to use their single sign-on on Clever.com to access any instructional content. Students will use their assigned district email address to log in to any district device. It is of utmost importance that if you are experiencing a technical issue with your district issue device, that you do not take this device to any other tech or service provider for assistance or repair, as this will void your insurance policy. Please follow the support flowchart in order to get troubleshooting help. Each school will have a designated tech support specialist to assist you with any troubleshooting needs. You may visit our Fayette County Public Schools website under the FCVA tab and choose the appropriate link associated with your current assigned school and the tech device support specialist will receive and respond to that ticket. Mental health is such as important part of an individual's overall health and well-being, and it affects how people think, feel, and act. In the Fayette County Public Schools, we think that it is of utmost importance, especially for our virtual students, in order for them to handle the work they have, stress, relating to others, and making their current choices. We are dedicated to our Fayette County Virtual Academy students, as we have implemented a new three-tiered approach called MOOD, Motivating optimism through opportunities daily. Teachers, counselors, and social workers will provide embedded lessons as well as check-ins with current students. Fayette County Public Schools will continue to feed all students registered with the county. All breakfast and lunch meals will follow the USDA meal pattern requirements. Meals can continue to be picked up at your school or delivered to the student's home if you have signed up for home meal delivery. However, when the district moves to our hybrid model, meal delivery will end. Meals will need to be picked up from then on at your child's assigned school. If you have any questions throughout this exciting journey of Fayette County Virtual Academy, please contact anyone on our Fayette County Virtual Academy team, and they will be glad to assist you. Thank you, and have a great day.